The most recent data reveals more than 800 bicyclists were killed in 2016. Each year we cover injuries, even deaths right here in the metro. Yeah, and a story you will only see here. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed dives into the deeper problem they face each time they ride. Well, here in Brookside, the ride of silence is about to get underway. Every year it honors those killed while riding their bikes. But we found out what's being done to prevent more deaths here in the metro. One thing you got to know about Anthony, he was just crazy. I mean, he would just do some of the craziest stuff. Most of Anthony Saluto's antics had to do with his hair. See, that's that mohawk picture. That's one of the things Lori Brown loved about her son. She vividly remembers the conversation she had with him on April 3rd, 2016. Oh, okay. He said, I love you, Mom. I said, I love you, too. And an hour later, he got hit. A man driving under the influence veered across lanes of traffic on Independence Avenue, hitting and killing 32-year-old Anthony Saluto. Sometimes in the wake of tragedies, we, we realize that we have to do things differently. And Eric Bunch is the policy director for advocacy group Bike Walk KC. My tail light can light up and my bell can ring. Two years after Saluto's death. Here, I'm just going to hang on to you here. The challenges cyclists and pedestrians still face are easy to see. Stay on the wild line. Especially on Bunch's morning commute with his wife and kids to daycare. Come on, Liam. It can feel a bit of a harrowing experience trying to cross 39th, unfortunately. Go ahead and go. But change is already in motion. Over the next six months, there's going to be just a a deluge of, of new bike facilities coming in. One of those developments, the installation of protected bike lanes on Armour Boulevard. Cyclists will have a buffer of parked cars between their lane and moving traffic. And I think some of the changes that we're hoping for long term are some of the things that we're seeing get started underway right now. Joe Blankenship is the planner overseeing the future of biking in Kansas City. Go left here. The vision includes building a connected network of bike lanes and adding more protected ones. It's a safe street to bike on and it's a low stress facility to bike on. Drivers will feel less stressed too. The new bike plan will be ready in the next couple months. Oh, this was at my son Johnny's wedding. The driver who hit Anthony Saluto was charged with involuntary manslaughter and leaving the scene of an accident. Protected bike lanes are proposed for the neighborhood where he was killed. It won't bring her son back, but Lori Brown hopes the changes can save other cyclists. They need some sort of protection. Here at the Rite of Silence, there will be a short ceremony at 6.45, and then the actual ride will get underway at 7. We'll have coverage of that later tonight at 10. Reporting live in Brookside, Cat Reed, 41 Action News.